Good morning, everybody. Welcome. We are so glad that you're joining us for our annual meeting from Ascend International. We have apostles, we have leaders, both in the church and the marketplace that are part of our network. We are a network that's on a mission to reach 1 million souls by the year 2025, and we are seeing disciples being raised up everywhere. It is so exciting. I'm also the pastor of Skyway Church in Goodyear, Arizona, and we will be showing broadcasts. uh, It's called Skyway at Noon, so I want to welcome everybody that's watching the Skyway at Noon programs because you are going to be hearing from our ministers that are around the world how God is using them to expand the kingdom of God, to touch lives, to bring transformation. And I tell you, this has been the most unusual year. 2020 has been an unusual year. But I believe it's been a very prosperous year, and you're going to be excited to hear the stories from all these leaders that are speaking to us today. With that being said, I want us to open with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we agree together today for the great move of your spirit that's going on in the earth, that we are a part of this, and that we are seeing your goodness. We are seeing your presence. We're seeing people being saved and transformed and changed. Yes, Lord, there's many problems. There's many struggles. But Lord, in the midst of the struggles, you are there with us. And we say thank you for that. Lord, I speak a blessing over everybody that's watching today's annual meeting, everybody that's going to speak today. May you inspire us. May, you, may As somebody is speaking, I just believe that while people are speaking, you others are going to be getting downloads from the Holy Spirit that's going to, going to propel you into ideas for 2021. And you're going to begin sensing and feeling and believing things that are that God is putting into your heart, even as you're part of this annual session, you're going to receive downloads from the Holy Spirit that's going to release you into ministry and destiny in 2021. And with that being said, I say amen, amen. God bless you, everybody. Welcome to our 2021 Ascend International Conference. Let's give Jesus some praise, everybody. Come on. Now, can you guys see it? Pastor Sam, are you seeing it? Okay. The Hebrew year, 5,781. It's a significant number, and and I want you to learn a little bit about this number, a little bit about what's going on. Let me drop down to 5781. It literally, in, in the Hebrew letters or alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet, it has both a numeric and, and, a, and a letter that will spell something out, and it also has a picture. So the Hebrew alphabet, and they believe that, that uh, the, the leaders of, of, of Israel believe that actually the Hebrew language is the language of God. And so you can study what's in these numbers and these letters and to begin to have an anointing to understand what is God saying to mankind. And so I'm just going to open it up with what it's saying. So I'm not going to try to crescendo to the end and have you all go, well, what's he saying 5781? This is what's going to happen in 5781. God's letters spell out a sentence that says, you will be amazed. You will be amazed. So will we be amazed for good? Will Will we be amazed because of evil? I'm not sure. But it says you will be amazed. Rosh Hashanah is the head of the year. Now, some people might say, well, hey, uh, it's, the, it's the beginning of creation. No, it's the beginning of God creating man on the sixth day. And what's significant about that is that on the sixth day, God created man in his own image. So it's God wanting to have a relationship with us. And so as we went into the head of the year on September 18th and 19th, we are still in this festival time. This is the time that God says, I want you to pull aside and I want you to dedicate yourself to be in relationship with me this year. And this is when all of mankind should begin to reflect about themselves and say, am I living for myself? Am I living a selfish life or am I living for God? And do I want to put put God first in my life? This is the time to do it. It's called the head of the year. This is where we put Christ as king. So it's called the head of the year. It's not simply a birthday celebration, but it's where we put the preeminence of God and we say, God, I want you to be the center of everything about me, the center about my life. So God speaks to us at this time of the year, and then he speaks to us prophetically through the numbers. So Shana Tova is a phrase that we use. It says, may your year be sweet and prosperous. May your year be sweet and prosperous. And we need to confess that 
whatever it is, even though we've come out of a pandemic, we're going to have a sweet and prosperous year. So we're doing this. It's called parabolic symbolism. And the study of Hebrew numbers reflects the activity of God with man during these seasons and times. So each Hebrew letter has a numeric value and pictures that tell a picture story of events that will occur in the emerging year. So we are in the decade of 80, 5,780, and that, that decade is the decade of the mouth. And so last year, 5780 was known as the year of the sword in the mouth. Looking back, we can see it accurately portrayed how people use their mouth as a weapon. It has been the craziest year for how people, even though there's been a mask over everybody's mouth, the mouth has been used as a sword to destroy and pull down. The Antichrist is loosing the hordes of hell through mouths right now. It has been a time that we're seeing the Antichrist move in so many different ways, but I'm glad that the year has changed to 5,781 because 5,781 this year, pay a left will be known as the year of God's intervention. Pay a left, the, the one of the 81 is the one is God's number. So last year was the sword in the mouth, but this is the year of God's intervention. And I cannot help but think about this prophetic word that Gene and Michelle just shared with us that is the year of God's intervention. What's going to happen on 11-11? Because God is saying something is up. Now, the Aleph, it is the, the number or the letter. It's the first letter of the alphabet. And so it's God's word in our mouth. So the key to victory this year is connecting to saying what God is saying. We need to speak what the scriptures speak. We need to speak as God would have us speak. Let every man speak as if the oracles of God flow from our mouths, because in the power of the tongue is life and death. But victory is also connected to learning to be silent, because the left is also has a silent sound. It is the first number. It's the primary number. It's the number of God. But there are times when God is silent. There's times when we think, God, why don't you do this? Why don't you stop the evil? Why don't you stop the persecution? And it seems that God is silent. But in that silence, multitudes of things transpire. It was in silence whenever Jesus was before Herod. And Herod demanded that he would speak, demanded that he would have a miracle or perform some sort of a trick. And Jesus spoke not a word to Herod. And I believe this is the year that the silence of God will speak to the enemies of God in a way that will silence them. So coming from Rabon, uh, from Rabbi Aaron, he states in the teaching of the rabbis that any year that begins with poverty, the end will have tremendous wealth. This year that begins with poverty will end with wealth. So this can, this can begin at any time. The blessing of wealth, redemption, healing can come through Almighty God. So this year is a year of turning lack into blessing. You might be out there today saying, man, it's been a hard year for us, and it's been a difficult year. Not only did Apostle Pat pray for you to move into prosperity, but the, the teachings concerning the head of the year, that if you have come out of a difficult year, you can have faith and say, God, turn this year into a year of blessing. And I decree over each and every one of you that have been suffering financial lack, you've been suffering hardship, you've been suffering in these different areas, that the word of God speaks over you, that the year has shifted and your fortunes have shifted in the hand of God. And God is shifting you and God is turning you and God is releasing you from poverty to prosperity. God is breaking off the shackles of lack and moving you into abundance in Jesus' name. This year, it will be the year of divine pleasure. It's a year of physical pleasure. It's a year of elevation and holiness to those who will bow before the king. Going back to that prophetic word concerning 1111, that we do not fear wrath. Friends, I thank you that even in the judgments of God that you see in the times of Moses, that the people of God were in Goshen. And there was a protection there in Goshen. And if we will elevate Jesus as king and we'll say, I will serve the king of kings and I will speak the words of the king of kings, that this will be a year that we can find divine pleasure. We can find divine breakthrough. And that word holiness that's connected to this year, that word holiness literally means to be separated for a purpose. The holy instruments in the temple of God, they were holy. They were anointed. They were used for a very specific purpose. I decree over you this year that God is setting you apart 
for a holy purpose. God is setting you apart for a divine mission. God is setting you apart to be able to prosper in your mission. And you will see, even as Moses prospered in his mission, you will prosper in this mission, regardless of what you are facing. God's hand is with you. This is the year of God to be with you. This is the year that you will find vitality and direction. You are going to find the faith of God for your calling now in Jesus' name. I decree over each and every one of you listening to this teaching today that the faith of God for your mission, for your assignment is rising up, it's bubbling up, and you believe that the God in you is bigger than whatever you've been facing. I break off the shackles of discouragement. I break off the shackles of unbelief, and I speak over you and decree over you. You shall prosper in this year in fulfilling God's assignment. This is the year you are separated for the purposes of God. This Hebrew number also shows that God's anger will be shown in the year to come. Think about that, Gene and Michelle, that this is not only a year that we will see God's intervention, but that intervention can also be demonstrated with God's anger. So this brings us back to us. We need to be bowing before Jesus as king over our emotions, over our rights, over our thoughts. Jaya Kumar, I just love the spirit that's inside of you, that in the midst of being so unfairly treated and everything that's happening, that you, there, there's a, you have a divine dignity inside of you. When you were speaking, I just saw that, that kingly anointing, that governmental anointing. That's why I prophesied over you, Jay Kumar, that you will stand before kings this year because the anger of God is not to be like throwing chairs and, and carrying on like the lost people. Lost people are, are cussing and, and being violent and being vile and things of that nature. Friends, when the anger of God is manifested, it's not going to look like a lost person. It's going to have purpose. And somebody else prayed that we would have the fear of the Lord. I believe that's Michelle. And when the anger of God comes, I want to have the fear of the Lord inside of me because I want to be on the, on the side with Jesus. This is a year when Joshua stood before the angel of the Lord, who I believe was the pre-incarnate Jesus Christ. And he said to that angel of the Lord, are you for us or against us? And the angel of the Lord said to Joshua, you, you have it all wrong. It isn't about me being for you. It's about you being for me. This is the year to side with Jesus. This is the year to side for the kingdom of God. This is the year to side with righteousness because divine anger will be manifest. 5781, the Hebrew thought portrayed when we read 5781 is you will be amazed. How many of you are ready to be amazed? I'm ready to see God shift things, break things, change things. I'm ready for people to be coming into harvest. This is a year of harvest. This is a year of breakthrough. This is a year that the yoke is going to be able to see great things happen. My friends, you will be amazed. Write this down. Speak this out. Prophesy this out with me. This is the year we will be amazed. And I believe those that are bowing before Jesus are going to be amazed in a very, very special way. And the rest of the world might be away, amazed in some different ways. But this is the year of God's intervention. This is the year you will be amazed. Rabbi Aron Raskin states that this acronym says, God will show you wonders and miracles even greater than what he did in Egypt. Now, Rabbi Aron, uh, watching him, he, what I was watching on YouTube, he was speaking to his uh, Hebrew congregation. He he. That right now, he was, he's praying for their eyes to be open to find Messiah as they're moving into this holiday. But I believe that God is going to reveal himself to the Jewish people like never before. I believe that God is going to move amongst the Jews like never before. Friends, it is a harvest time for Jews and Gentiles alike. And he said, God will show you wonders and miracles even greater than what he did in Egypt. I'm ready for that right here in Goodyear, Arizona. Pastor Sam's giving me an amen. Give an amen over your nation. Decree over your nation right now. Right now in the middle of this teaching, just cry out, my nation will see wonders and miracles even greater than what happened in Egypt. Say it out loud. Wake up the kids if it's nighttime in your house. But I want you to decree, God is doing miracles in our nation. Amen. The Aleph, the picture of this letter, Aleph, is the picture of the ox. Now, the pictograph of this letter, uh, Jesus is portrayed as an ox, an eagle, a man, and a lion. But this year, the ox is connected to the year of the leader. 
So we're going to see Jesus manifest himself through leaders because this is the year of the ox. So leaders, this is why I'm making a commitment to raise up more leaders than we've ever raised up and trained up before. Going back to our AIU portion of today's meeting, I want to help you equip leaders to send out leaders, to be godly, to be successful, to be set apart for that holy calling. God has a plan for each and every leader, and God says this is the year of the ox or the year of the leader. The, the letter Aleph literally is a picture of an ox, but sometimes in the Bible it is translated leader or governor. So look at that opportunity to develop leaders. Let's make a commitment, Ascend International. Let's make a commitment that we're raising up leaders this year. This is a year for sacrificial serving. The ox is willing to bear the burden to do the work and even sacrifice himself. We must all have such an appearance, such a reality, serving others, bearing the burden, caring for the, for the responsibility, even sacrificing our lives. This is a year of personal sacrifice. It may get difficult. You know, I've said a lot of positive things, but I'm saying that there's going to be positive things in the midst of great difficulty, in the midst of great trials. But this is when leaders may want to quit. This is when leaders may say, I just don't want to do this anymore. Friends, I speak a new courage into your life in the name of Jesus. I shake off in the spirit realm all dullness. I shake off all unbelief. I shake off all fear. And I decree over you that there's a mantle of courage upon you. There's a mantle of strength. There's a mantle of endurance. And you will finish the course that God has called you to do. This is your year to shine, says the Lord. Uh, this is a year of unity. The Aleph also has a numerical value of one and 1,000, meaning it's not singular one, but it's the plural or united one. We are one. Say it out loud. As one. Say it out loud wherever you're at. As one. Yes, this is the year for unity. I love what, what, what our apostle from Croatia was saying, and, and he, he said, he said that they have united the church like never before. And, and, and I, I tell you, Oliver, many times I would go to Croatia and I never saw such division. And so much joy came into my heart when you were telling us at the beginning of our meeting how now the churches are working together. The churches are united. That is a miracle of God. That is a sign. That is a wonder. You have been faithful in your assignment these last 10 years to unite the body of Christ in the Slavic nations. And friends, this is a time that the body of Christ is going to unite like never before. Jay Kumar and the nation of India, those thousands and thousands of organizations will unite in the name of Jesus. I decree over you, you will unite in the name of Jesus and, God, and justice will prevail and the government will see the justice of God. Even as you've stood before them, it'll be like Moses standing before Pharaoh. This is a year of unity. This is a year to pull together. Don't be divided. Don't, don't be against your brother. Don't be against before. This is our time to be one. It's a year to bear the yoke. The yoke means responsibility. The yoke means commitment. The yoke means submitting to serve with purpose. Friends, you're in this network because you are servants. We're not here to make everybody think we're the shiniest thing out there, but we're just out there to grow the kingdom of God. I think of Apostle Eve, what you're doing in, in Washington, D.C., it amazes me. Your testimony to us today, it amazed me. Going to the Lincoln Memorial just to worship God and to let people see you just freely worship God. What a year to bear the yoke. You are holding on to your responsibility. You're holding on to your commitment. Friends, this is the year that we will submit to God with purpose and we will see breakthrough. The pace of this year, now think about oxen. Oxen are not particularly fast. I've never been to an ox race. In the United States, we have horse races. There's probably horse races in most nations, but there's never been an ox race in my understanding. But I say that with fun and with a smile because the pace is to have endurance. The pace is to have longevity. The pace may seem to be slow. It may seem to be inconvenient, but the ox is the strongest animal for, for carrying a burden. It's stronger than a mule, stronger than a horse, stronger than any other animal. There is nothing stronger than an ox. So this pace may seem strong and arduous. It may seem slow, but believe me, you're going to finish the job. You're going to plow the field. You're going to put the seed in. You're going to have the harvest because the ox 
is connected to harvest. This year, 5,781 uh, 5, is the year connected to harvest. The ox is the harvest animal. It takes on the characteristics of, of the ox to be able to bring in the greatest harvest. When I've been in, in the nation of India and, and during the time of harvest, I see these giant trailers full of grass and full of hay, and they're just thousands and thousands of pounds. And they're not being pulled by a tractor, they're being pulled by an ox down the major thoroughfares where the other automobiles are driving. There's something about the ox that says this is the year of harvest. Going back to our 1111, that Jesus said in the 11th hour, he reached out to everybody and said, come into my vineyard and go to work. This is the year for us to raise up leaders, train leaders, no matter if they just, you say, this person just barely got saved. Don't worry about them being in your school for three years. If they've been in your school for three days and they want to be trained, start training them right now because we have to train the leaders for the harvest, my friends. This is our hour to train these leaders. Qualities that we should embrace this year are leadership, to have strength, to have patience. This is the year to be trained to prepare for your harvest. My friends, don't let this year slide by. Get engaged. I said to Skyway Church, and I say to everybody in Ascend International, at the head of the year, at this season, we are in the middle of this season, we are going to be prosperous. We're going to be industrious. We're going to be moving forward. We're going to go forward with faith. We're going to go forward with power. And we are not sitting idly by. We're not waiting for the press to tell us or a governor to tell us what we're going to do. We're listening to the king of kings. We're listening to the voice of the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God, it says, get ready for your harvest. Be on your assignment and be about the pace that God sets you on. It may seem slow, but you're never being idle. Don't be idle when the Lord's vineyard needs workers. This is the word of the Lord for us today. So 5,781, 5, what will amaze us? Because things are so good or because things are so difficult? Friends, it might be both. It might be a little bit of both. It might be a lot of both. I've had some fun here in the, in the office with all the crazy stuff going on in the United States of America, I'll, I'll come in and, and just make a, uh, I'll say, it can't get any crazier. And sure enough, the next day gets crazier. And I go, it can't get any crazier. And then the next day it gets crazier. But the thing is, I want to be amazed because I see the hand of God. I want you to be amazed because the presence of God is so real in the midst of your life. I want you to be amazed because the glory of God is resting upon you, your ministry, your people. Let's be amazed because we bow before Jesus as king, and we say, Jesus, you are the Lord of all, and I submit fully to you. This is the year to learn how to navigate into God's blessing. This is the year to learn how to hear what God is speaking and speak what God is speaking. This is the year to grab hold of the covenants of God. I'm going to start teaching on covenant. Look at the seven major covenants, and the one major covenant of all is the covenant God has made with man through Jesus Christ. This is the year to rely on God to fight for you. This is the year that God will speak. This is the year that God will reveal himself. So in the covenant of God, it's key that you understand you are trusting God to move, and you're allowing that to happen. All these things are happening in this year of 5,781. Let's agree together to bow before Almighty God. Well, that was a quick run through of my word for 5,781. Brent's coming up to give me a hand here. What you got going, brother? All right, he's, he's helping me with the uh, computer here. I wanna release a prayer over everybody just before we wrap this up today. Father, I speak a blessing over Ascend International. I say that everybody in Ascend International, that we bow before Jesus as King, that it is the Lord Jesus Christ who is the one seated on the throne. It's not me. It's not a network. It's not a, about all these ministers, Father, but it's about Jesus. And all of us as leaders, we bow before your throne together today, and we say, release to us your words. Release to us your assignment. 
Release to us your glory, your miracles, your power. Demonstrate yourself to be strong in our midst around the world this year, O oh God. I, I come with all these leaders and we take Ascend International and we, we set it at the throne, at the feet of Jesus. And we step back and we say, Lord Jesus, would you blow the wind of the Holy Spirit on every one of us afresh? Would you lead us into divine pathways? Would you release divine provision? Would you raise up, Father God, that we would reach those that have not been reached before, that their ears would be open to the gospel of Jesus Christ? that their hearts will be open to be forgiven of their sins, that multitudes that are in the valley of decision, that we would come into their path and lead them into the path of righteousness. Oh God, we come before you today as a network and we say, Lord, would you be with each and every one, keep each one safe, protect their families, protect their homes, Protect us, Father God, in our coming in and going out. Bless what we eat. Bless where we go, Father God, and even in difficulties and what looks like a difficult day, would your angels come and undergird us? Would they be with us as they were with Jesus? Lord, I bless the network of Ascend International this day with an anointing of God for the emerging year of 5,781 that we would see that this is the year that God speaks we will be amazed in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. I'm all fired up here. I wish we were all together in person. Pastor Sam, you're in here with me. We're fired up together. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so That's awesome. I just, just want to, before, before we go, we go I, I want to ask, ask you to put into, into the, the chat, chat that everything that, that, you know, who you are, the nation you represent, your contact, and anything that God is doing, we've been on for two hours, and I wish that I could hear more from, from all of you, but I want to read the whole transcript. So if God is doing something that, that you, you want all of us to know about, put it into that transcript. I'm going to read the entire transcript after this meeting. We're going to convene again on the 11th of November for prayer, and I want us to stay united, to stay connected. If there's anything that we can do to help you, to help you grow, especially training your leaders, reach out. We want to hear from you. And in January, there might be some of you watching who have not been commissioned into our network. And you're, you, what you've heard today has inspired you. We'll be commissioning new members into the network in the month of January. So that will be coming up as well. With all that being said, with all these prayers that we've prayed, I want to say thank you for joining us. We've been on for two hours, and some of you have your children needing to go to bed. We realize that, and uh, we, we just respect so much that uh, on your side of the globe, your day is ending. On our side of the globe, the sun has just been coming up. It's just going to be 10 o'clock in the morning here in Arizona. For us, our day is yet to come. But this is the beautiful thing about Ascend International. Every hour of the day, because we are in so many different nations, the gospel is being preached continually, no matter what time of day it is, every hour of the day, throughout every day of the year, we are as one preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ around the globe. And I am so humbled to be your leader. I am so thankful for you being part of this network. I appreciate your prayers and your prayers for me, your prayers for Skyway your prayers for our team, for our families, because we pray for you all the time as well. And it truly is an honor to be as one with all of you. Thank you for joining us today at our Ascend 2020-21 annual conference as we've heard the word of the Lord. God bless you.